Vista View Park in Davie, Florida. Um, so I know it's been a while since we've um, jumped on camera, but so we've been very busy. What have we been busy? What have we been busy doing? There's Dan. Resetting life. Resetting life. Um, yeah. So we're actually gonna do a sit down, right? We're gonna just sit down and tell them, share the news. Should we? to sit down and share the news or we're going to come and just say it now do you want to say it we're moving we're moving we're moving away from south florida um yeah so i think when you're doing what we're doing you call it relocating you're moving it's like oh i could be moving from one side of yeah like, moving to like city another to city another yeah city. but like, we are like leaving south florida which has been our home or my home since i was seven and i am 37 now so 30 years in south florida that's like wow 30 years have we been living i you know i've been living in south florida dan came technically a little earlier than me he traveled and um, lived back and forth in Jamaica but for me South Florida has been home for 30 years three decades um, so it's it's a wow for 32? me 32 years uh, 30, from, yeah. because I went to Jamaica I five six uh -huh. came back at went to Jamaica six came back at nine and then I did summers back and forth. Back and forth. Yeah, like summers, so, you know, like, but like home, well, for me it's a little different. Like you would really like stay in, you know, because you have a parent that lives in Jamaica. But like full-time living um, around maybe three decades for the both of us in South Florida. So we are saying bye-bye to the area, um, but obviously not forever. We have um, friends and family that, that live down here, so we will be frequenting South Florida. We also have the business model exactly. that will kind of lend to yes. it being opportunistic. Not to make exactly. everything cut and dry, like it, friends and family are not important, mm -hmm. but the, the rationale behind like friends and family, unfortunately, mm -hmm. with life is that you always kind of oh when mm. i can vacation blah blah mm. blah yeah. but when it's for business you kind of end up making it sound like okay like i don't know how serious lisa really takes me when i say this but is this the owl thing, thing or that be, like for the tree it's for the tree okay oh, so, no, this one might be for this. so then i keep telling no, you about that's these freaky owl mm -hmm. nest thingies but you're not supposed to go close to it this is like 20 feet where's that one for Right? Yeah, owls. Yes. My wife thinks owls are creepy. Brown They're owls like, okay, let me let me show you. I think I've showed you this nest a million times, but these nests. No, that's not the one. It's a one by. Yeah, but tree. no, I've showed them the How what they are. Owls. Yeah. Um, we don't see any owls right now, but it's against oh, wow, against super. federal. <laughs> Ziller says it's against federal. Um, to disturb Barrel the poor little owls. So it says remain 20 feet. This is not 20 feet. So I'm not gonna get any closer. Sometimes you'll see them peek out, but um, I'm not a fan of owls. I think they're a little creepy. No, they're kind of cute, they but. A little crazy because they stare. Yeah. That's it. And their head turns and, but those are kind of cute. They're like, maybe this is not even a foot, animals. maybe like, have to be cute eight, to survive eight, eight human inches beings. tall they're kind of small eight inches because if they're not cute good luck to you good luck we're gonna go on this ramp this ramp looks kind of cool <laughs> um but yeah it's a beautiful day they haven't um started closing down the park yet so we're just kind of walking and enjoying um 
here has already the, the evening point where it starts to get darker a little earlier. Yeah. yeah. So it's an awesome day. Let's see if we can see some fishies or something. Um, wow, this moves. <laughs> this is moving. This is moving. It has to be able to move because it's a ramp thingy. But, um, more stable that way. Yeah. Try to make it fight against the water. So this is a beautiful Pacific Park. We're on a ramp thingy. <laughs> Dan has a question. Okay. No matter how beautiful this is, never forget. Never forget that when you see wild pond water like this, like this is moving, but. If you're not on an actual real lake, like big lake, and I'm not just saying that because now we're on our we're way to We're going to the lake, you know, you know we're lake land area. We're trying to live in like, you Where know, the lake, lake County and all of that. Yep. To that area, um, which is like right outside of like Orlando area, right? But be cognizant that this water has reptiles in them, turtles, snakes, alligators. Airplane. Um, they're all over so so stop uh, playing don't put your kids feet in this water thinking oh it's you know <laughs> right just be cognizant of the fact that you're in an area you're and an animal area. is it's doing its thing where it's supposed to be we are encroaching on their land mm -hmm. so just be mindful be cognizant be of that. safe be cognizant be respectful yeah. also to the animal I will never forget, unfortunately, that story of the poor kid oh, at Disney yes. and why Disney has all everything roped yeah. off now. But it's like, I think people will go to somewhere like Disney and forget, like, this especially is the with thing. the amount of money they're spending. This is the thing. Like, that we, general... we hope to not judge um, parents no, no, no. about what they do listen, and listen. how they do it. This is not but a, like, wag finger Maybe right you're not aware of Florida life wildlife yeah um so that's why he's explaining you're like oh this is just like it's in the middle of a park it can't be dangerous think again um, just like how they can't control those birds yeah <laughs> these, are, control these are the birds that he's talking about right here. Can, you, can you hear them and see them oh he's waving can you put your foot up <laughs> can you put your foot up please <laughs> 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 you saying hello? Say bye bye. Can you say bye bye now? <laughs> bye bye. Oh, I got a bye. bye. <laughs> Acting shy now? <laughs> yeah, there's something um, so beautiful about this community. I don't know where everybody lives. Um, in this area, but everyone seems very friendly. Um, we've never really had a uncomfortable situation um, at this park. Like you know, parents are always like. I think it's park life, though. I think it's the yeah. type of person that this um, will appeal to. The type of person that's going to stop themselves around five. They gotten home and they've said to themselves, "You know what? I'm going to take the time to go out there and go get some fresh air and walk around. Yeah. Make my kid run around on the grass." And you just yeah, uh, actually, get out let, of the let, hustle, let's, bustle let's let him run and be that, free right now. You know, like, listen, I understand nine to five. She I work nine to five. I hated it. it. <laughs> okay. I hate it. To the people but that do it, it might work for you. And exactly. It works for them, right? Some people are like 12 hour shifts. Oh my God. Like when I was pregnant and I was like, I don't know what we're going to do. We're both working 12 hour shifts. That's going to be like insane. How are we going to make it work, right? And for some, they're like, oh, my husband does 12, I do eight, we love it. You know, some people are like, oh, we both do day shift. One person, you know, we one person one does nights, one night, does day. day. You have to figure out what works for you. Um, and if you Definitely. are like, oh, you have like family support, if you have, if you can provide support, and have- Family, um, friends, or whatever Yeah, someone that you can have in the home for. to watch. It's your, it's whatever works for you. And you have to be, um, you have to be honest with yourselves. If it's not working, change it. And for yeah. us, it wasn't working for us. Um, we also we were off. Have we ever spoken about that? We've been off. We were off 
twice a month together. So well, every other yeah. Friday. Okay, well, twice we were a month. Working full time. Yeah. Nights. Um, we worked opposite schedule. And how um, were we? And I don't think people really understand what that meant. What yeah. that meant was, if I worked Monday, Tuesday, that was Lisa's two days off, and then she worked Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. and those were my days to work. Mm -hmm. um, and so we were always just relieving each other. Yeah. And Kellen was only getting one parent. Yeah, at a time. At a time. Yes. Maybe in the mornings when who you know whoever comes home, they can linger and that you know. That person would try to. But like, that person is like, like you know, stay up. And as he was you know younger, like a little, he's a little better now. He kind of sleeps in. But when he was like up, and it's like I gotta come home, and shower, and he wants you know he wants to be breastfed. Those are things that were difficult, and we it's, had to value it for ourselves. To also slip into just parent mode, where it's like mm -hmm. you've lost Daniel, you've lost Lisa, and now there's only mommy, daddy, mommy, daddy, so and then where is mommy, daddy time? Where is the intimacy? Yeah. Where is mm -hmm. and I don't. Just and intimacy mean, like, is not always just sexual intimacy. It is, but like you know, sit even down like and two talk. Apart from the baby, um, time. Yeah. yeah. You want to walk? Come, let's walk. Let, let him out he wants to be let out um and yeah it's just sometimes just like i want to sip some tea and um chill out with my husband i want to get my feet rubbed and not be bombarded with like mommy do this mommy i want this you know so you know what the roughest thing about that was i felt like some of the talking had gotten reduced to um like a like a handoff like a nursing handoff so it was just like he's phone. had two bowel movements yes. since the last time yes. that you the blah blah yes. blah um he's mm -hmm. eating blah 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 he needs blah 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 and that yeah. was the end of the conversation bye, bye. bye. i'm gonna go you bathe know? and yeah. go to sleep yeah. um but i think we're getting lost in in all of what i was what i initially was saying anyway what it's just um no matter what work you decide to work with, one, you have to to be able to have a work-life balance and, 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 um, and enjoy it, whatever schedule it works for you. So you have to know what schedule works for you. And then two, work-life balance as in you have to know how to be able to plug out and not just do that. It's very easy to slip into like, oh, I'm tired. I don't have any energy to go to no park. I just work five days. I'm tired. Um, I just want to sit down and watch something on TV. And you forget, like, we are as, listen, as, like, deep nothing as this sounds and sounds like I'm trying to get really, like, oh, he's trying to be deep. Like, we are animals as in, like, yo, we need outdoor time. We need time just, even if it's your backyard, buy some water, um, a waterway just some time to get not only fresh air but just outside we are different people when we're in uh different environments when you have to be when you have to change your routine from just i drive home i get up at five in the morning i brush my teeth i get in my car i run to work i get annoyed with the hour um rush hour traffic fighting to go bing at the clock go to work pray for it to become 4 35 o'clock clock out rush home bing basically going out again rush to go make something to dinner to have to dinner you know all of that just becomes routine you got to shake up your routine it's the only way you get new ideas it's the only way you have the energy to go back into whatever your routine is um, it's how you get a fresh perspective on your routine. It's how you enjoy life. So um, for me, even this right now is important um, before we reach the move stage. But yeah, the move, we're still gonna have to do a sit down and talk about what it's gonna be like to move, um, what this experience is like. Um, as Lisa and I have discussed before, like we have gone through a couple of life events that we haven't been able to record that we've always meant to record um, for ourselves to be able to reflect on, but also for others, hopefully to be able to see and go through and be like, yo, 
oh, I feel your pain on this, or I would have did this differently um, in retrospect and learn from the situation, um, which is, you know, um, planning a wedding and having to reschedule the wedding <laughs> because of the hurricane and, um, you know, baby on the way, all the complications of um, Lisa's pregnancy, um, Kellen being born premature, having to work all throughout that because I changed jobs in between that. So I wasn't given any time off when Kellen was born. Lisa, you know, obviously went on maternity leave, but I didn't have any, not even like a week off. I went from job to job and um, it was for the best. The transition was for the best, but all of those things are important. Yay! So yeah, um, babbling now because I think I'm paying attention to Kellen and all the other stuff. But yeah, it's important to do this. As we were saying, as Lisa was saying, this environment is different. Um, I don't know if I would say we run into different people, but I would say that we become different people when we give ourselves to, to give ourselves the chance to plug out mm -hmm. and do this. Yeah. Um, and the people that do this more often become better people yeah or they become a better version of themselves they're still always going to be them you know if a if a person is a a a-hole and they come here Mason. they're just going to be a better version of an a-hole maybe mm -hmm. um but see the it's i want you guys to see the kites i'm sorry but they're so cool i'm trying to get kevin to see them the what the kites where's the kites maybe you can't see them either Oh, those. That's okay. a kind. There's another one somewhere. Awesome. We're gonna, or I'm gonna go to the supermarket because huh? it's a little late. But I wanted to grab up some um, essentials. That's another thing. When you're moving, you're try I'm trying not to buy like, like I try to buy like meat in, in like bulk. So um, I'm trying not to do that now because we're gonna be moving pretty soon. Um, we're gonna be moving out pretty soon. So it's like I don't want to have a bunch of frozen stuff. But um, we got to eat still, so this is park life in a big city. They're leaving me, guys. So thanks for joining on another park adventure. Love, I think it's one of a kind. There's something special.